This is Dabu 7, an update to this electoral college process, which today it comes down to the wire, and we have these 538 select Americans that will gather at their state capitals across the United States, and they will officially pick what is proclaimed to be Donald Trump as the 45th U.S. president. Now, this whole time, there's been a lot of back and forth talk as to people being able to sway some of the electors to go for Hillary. There has been a lot of talk that she could steal the election last minute from Trump. And when it comes down to the bottom line here, there is no federal law, imagine that, or constitutional provision that requires electors to vote according to the results in their states. Now, how this works, and most people don't realize this, is when all the people across the country went out and voted, you were voting for an elector from your state to go and cast a vote for the majority or whoever won in those states, in those areas. But those individuals do not have to hold to that. Now, certain states have laws where individuals can be prosecuted in what they call faithless voting. But no one's ever been prosecuted under it. And at this point, they see that 306 electors are pledging their vote to Trump and 232 to Clinton. Now, if he doesn't hit his magic number, which is less 37, they're saying 37 is the magic number at this point. And there's been a slew of Hollywood people come out trying to beg electors across the country, at least 37 of them, to go and vote for Hillary. That would mean that Trump would fall one vote short of the whole thing. So, to give folks a better understanding here of how this is all playing out. Now, the voting itself conducted by these electors is put into place between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m., with the vote expected to be called shortly before 6 p.m. Now, the one thing they do not clarify here is what time that is, 6 p.m. Eastern, you know, West Coast time, but seem, seeming that these individuals are having to gather at their state capitals across the country, and they're not all flocking to D.C. for this, and they're doing it at their state capitals, you would have to think that if everyone's given the time frame from 9 to 3, and they're going to call it shortly before 6, that that would be West Coast time. We had to go through the same thing with the election and wait for everything to come in and tally from the West Coast before they could make a call in that process as well. So wanted to catch people up to speed with where this sits. So sometime later this evening, around 9, here on the East Coast, uh, we should get word on uh, what the verdict is, and I will update on that with information as that is announced. So... If you guys are not following me on Twitter, make sure you are. Put a lot of updates out over there. Also, make sure to check out Essential Drug Store for any of you out there looking to stock up on medicine before a crisis situation. And also, make sure you're following me on my other YouTube channel, Dabu777. I will leave links below. It's been Dabu7. Peace.